Bear, stop it. Well, good morning. And you can probably tell by the change of attire, it is a very cold morning here in Cambridge. Now, I've had a lot of comments over recent videos about how heat pumps don't work in cold weather. And leaving aside people that live in Scandinavia that have heat pumps have no problems with them, I thought today was the ideal day to put that to bed. Okay, so if we take a look at my home assistant here, you can see the house is, it's, the temperature's coming back up, so overnight we cool the house down to about 17 degrees. Um, that allows us to sleep easier. But as you'll see now, the house is warming back up. The house is 19, climbing. Downstairs toilet is about 19.4. So we're heading back up to about the 20 degrees that we keep the house. No matter what the outside temperature is in the winter, it's about 20 degrees inside. If we actually take a look at the thermostat, you'll see we have the thermostat set to 20.3 degrees. Um, the outside temperature sensor for the heat pump is reading about minus three at the moment. Our hot water, we've all just finished our morning showers, is now heating back up. And our flow temperature is 33 degrees. Now you can see the heat pump is currently drawing about 3.3 kilowatts. Um, that's to be expected, it's working hard now. It's not only heating the hot water, but it's also bringing the temperature of the house back up to 20 degrees. Now, if we look at the Shelley app, over the last week, you'll see there um, on the left-hand side, we're back on Saturday, the 4th of January. The temperature started to get a bit warmer, so the uh, utilization of power dropped off. But in the last couple of days where we've had sub-zero temperatures for most of the day, the heat pump's been drawing on average about 21 to 22 kilowatts a day. So roughly one kilowatt hour per hour during most of the day. So for those that said, you won't be able to use your heat pump in the cold weather. You can see there, we're using about a kilowatt an hour and the house is staying at a nice consistent 20 degrees. Now, just to show that the heat pump is heating, I brought out my thermal camera again. So you can see there, the heat pump itself is producing really cold air coming out the front. And if we actually look behind there, those are the pipes that go up to the hot water tank. So you can see there is some minor heat loss coming through there. And in fact, if I look at the shutoff valves, you can see they're a little bit warmer than the rest of the pipes. So I might look at doing some extra insulating there just to save an extra little bit of heat. So as you can see, it's the coldest day of the year so far. It's absolutely freezing standing here next to the heat pump, but it continues to operate as normal. It didn't require any extra intervention from me. I didn't have to turn it up because it was cold. It handles its own defrost cycle. So when the evaporator on the back there builds up a whole load of frost, it just cleans it all off. And this is the great thing about some of these modern, as people call them, green technologies. They just work. They just work all of the time. My EV is currently outside defrosting itself. I'm not having to scrape the ice off the windscreen. I'm not having to do anything. It's just taking care of defrosting itself so it's ready to go when I need it this morning. So hopefully that puts this to bed. These things continue to work even on the coldest day of the year. And I have absolute 100% confidence that should the temperature drop another few degrees as it will in the next couple of days, that we won't have any issues with it then at all. But that's it for today's video. I hope this has been useful. It probably won't help those that still believe that heat pumps are a conspiracy, that somehow the government's trying to force us to do things we don't want to do. But it is currently minus three, minus four degrees right now. It was down to minus six and a half last night and the heat pump worked flawlessly. With that, we're gonna sign off because these guys, they love this kind of weather. And unfortunately, it means I have to take them for a walk. I hope you found this useful. If I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care.